Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we're going to be learning about lists. Um, and what are lists and what do they do? Well, they help us group data together. That's a big important thing in Python. Because, you know, previously we've just had a new variable for everything. First name, last name one. First name, last name two. First name, last name three. Full name one, full name two, full name three. And that can work to a point. But what if I have 156 students? Having 156 different variables is a nightmare. That's that's honestly just horrible to think about. I don't want to do that. I don't think you want to do that. So let's not do that. Or let's say that you had some big Excel sheet, this huge Excel sheet that has all this data. Um, well, this little code right here could actually open that Excel sheet for you and you could start importing that data. But into what? Text? You know, strings can hold text. Um, regular variables hold numbers. But what about long sheets of data? Well, this would go into something called a list. List right here. Um, lists go in square brackets. The type of bracket matters. If you use a different type of bracket, it creates a completely different thing. So we use square brackets. That's going to be right next to the P key on your keyboard, most likely. P key on your keyboard, goodness. So you have some variable name, equal sign, square bracket and then a bunch of stuff inside of it separated by commas okay so let's try that out um what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna put all of these people all these characters into a list in alphabetic order oh okay so characters equals and then i'm going to do it using their variable names not their actual names okay so Name two is Link. Name four is Navi. Name three is Sheik. And name one is Zelda. So L N S Z, that should be correct. And if I want to, I can print this. Cool. Woo. Um, no, there's lots of fun things you can do with this. Like, for example, let me try something right here. Um, characters dot sort. Okay. And let's see, descending equals true. Oh, I spelled it wrong. No, I spelled it right. Oh, well, there is a sort function I can call. Um, that wasn't planned in this little example, just a fun thing. And you can reverse it so it can alphabet alphabetize it for you automatically. But I messed it up. I'll have to go look and see if I spelled descending. No, I spelled that right. I just probably got the wrong variable name. So characters right here. If we want to, we can print it out. And I forgot to keep that. So let's put that back in there. There you go. Print characters. When you print it, it always prints it like this. So it sticks it in there, it puts it with the commas and the square brackets on the side. Okay, so this is a list. I'm actually going to stop here with this one because we're going to go into a whole lot of detail next time on how you access that list and use that list. But just remember that lists are for holding data and we have to use square brackets. So I hope this helps you. This is just the beginning of list. We have a lot more examples to go through. And we'll do some of those next time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.